Number 12. At what angle is the fourth order maximum for the situation in this exercise? All right, so it's dealing with maximum, therefore it's constructive, therefore we're going to be using this double slit constructive formula. The distance between the double slits is equal to the sine multiply, excuse me, the sine of the angle between the double slits and that fourth order maximum. This will then equal the m value, which is the order in this case, careful if it's destructive, um, multiplied then by the wavelength. So if I want to find the angle, I got to divide, divide the distance on out. Then I got to take the inverse sine of both sides so I can cancel that, right? This is all easy peasy stuff at this point, right? Minus one, bada bing, bada boom. Goodbye sine, we'll see you later. And now we just have to plug in the value. So the inverse sine here of then the fourth order max, so it's going to be four multiplied then by the wavelength and it was 450 nanometers, so that's 450. You need it in meters, so multiply that by 10 to the minus ninth. Then divide it by the distance between the slits, with this, which they told us was going to be 0 0.05, but that's in millimeters. You know we need that in meters, so multiply it by 10 to the minus 3, then take out the calculator and plug it on in. Oh boy. So inverse sine of 4 times 450 times 10 to the minus 9th divided by 0 0.05 times 10 to the minus 3. And we're going to get 2.06 2 degrees. Guys, thanks for tuning in. Okay, appreciate it very much. And by the way, if the if it was a fourth, let's say, order minimum, your M value would have been three. You always subtract one from it. All right, just FYI. Um, yeah, I, I don't really like this formula in particular. I, I think about it as like M would be M minus one, maybe. You know, you can add that to the formula if you wanted. Or you can then say, well, if that's minus one, that's plus one half. Maybe I'll just say M not plus one half, but minus one half. And that'll work too. <laughs> so you could definitely do it that way as well. That's the way I have it understood and memorized, but that might not be the formula you're working with. Anyway, take care, guys. I'll see you in the next one.